Hey guys, okay, welcome to today's video. I am doing a craft room tour. If you haven't checked out my video previous to this, go check it out. That is the like craft room transformation and you'll get to see like where I started from and how horribly organized it was and like not functional and like it was a disaster. Um, and then you'll be able to see where it's at now. Truth be told, it's not going to stay this way, but I'm excited about how it looks for the time being. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you a better tour. I didn't really give a tour in that video. This one is going to be just like kind of showing um, a little bit more in detail each part of the craft room and how I've set it up and organized it. But I'm going to try to keep it not um, kind of minimal so it's not too long of a video. Um, but yeah, let's just get started and let me show you all the good parts. Okay, you guys, so I am standing in the doorway to the room. It's not a huge room, so it's kind of hard to get good angles here. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of like show you around um, again. And if you haven't seen my other video, um, this, yeah, you should, because you'll see that it looks very different. Got my closet over there, my chair, and then some more storage over here. Um, but like I said, it's pretty much done. Um, the only couple things like I do want to get, sorry, the lighting is going to be funky with the window. I want to get some curtains and probably a little bit more um, stuff to hang on the walls over here. But for now, I'm happy with it and I'm not going to like rush trying to find something. If I find something that works, I will get it and We'll just go from there. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna walk you around the room and I'll start here. Let me get, see if I can get a wider angle of that. So this is um, kind of like my main crafting space. Obviously you see my chair and desk over there. Um, and then I've got a Calyx shelf from Ikea and then lots of little storage um, organizational pieces over there. Um, some fun little decor things. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna walk up a little bit closer now and just show you more specifically. So I've got lots of washi tape hung on my um, embroidery hoops. I have those here and then I have a couple more on the other side. And then I just have this, um, well this is one of my like photo lights, filming lights. Um, it's not on right now, obviously. Um, and then this is just like a little storage piece that I've had for a long time. Um, I'm keeping my like flip books, um, traveler's notebooks, and then just like some random odds and ends in the drawers that I don't really use particularly often. Um, and then if you go over here, I have this um, little kind of like tin bucket. I don't know what it's called really. Um, and this is just like all of my stickers. Some of them are alphas, some of them are just regular stickers, um, but just kind of the ones that are a little bit smaller um, hang out here. And then my bigger 12 by six stickers are all organized up here. I've got lots of alphas. Um, some like words or phrases and then um, like just like normal stickers like flowers and whatever um, whatever comes in those and then up there I just put a few of my favorite art pieces and um, decor things oh sorry my phone's going off let's just turn that off for a second oh my mom was trying to call me sweet mother um, okay, and then over here, again, just some like more decorative decorative things. That's the original artwork for the Faith Heirlooms logo. And then I just have some pictures of me and my family and stuff like that. Um, then up here on the desk, I have these little tins that I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, I have two of them. And I had previously had them hanging on the wall here with like washi tape and ribbon and stuff like that um but they kept falling off <laughs> so I just decided to move them here and I actually really like it I'm kind of one of those people that has to have things like with like one within arm's reach and two um 
like visible otherwise I forget that I have them and I don't use them as much so I just decided to use these to organize kind of the little bits and bobs on my desk I've got um, some of our like little dainty mini bows um, lots of Project Life cards or Felicity Jane cards or you know um, some of our own like memory verse cards stuff like that um, enamel dots Tab punch, corner punch, um, stamp pads, date stamps, alpha stamps, all sorts of stampy stuff. Um, and just kind of stuff that I use pretty regularly right here. Um, like some paper clip things. Uh, yeah. And then over here I have some repurposed boxes that I put um, all my different ephemera packs in. I separate them into their own little, um, like snack size lunch baggies and then put them in there um, and just that's been working for me for quite a while actually I had that on my old desk um, but yeah I really like that and then over here we just have kind of some general utensils paint brushes ruler hole punch scissors water brushes stuff like that um, and then in here is where I keep all my like pens and pencils that I like to use pretty regularly and then like my glue and um oh gosh the word for it tape runner there we go um and then up in the windowsill I just have more of our bows um some of these bows you might see are not maybe in the shop yet I'm not sure when I'm going to get this video uploaded um so I don't know if these will be in there they might be coming soon or they might already be in there but some of them are already in there then over here, um, I just have like a little container for um, ephemera or printables that I've already cut up um, and kind of just organize them there so they're easy to access. And then here I've got my larger Project Life cards um, and like scrapbook paper that I've cut down to size or that I've used kind of partially. Um, and just need a place for, and then a couple other like random bits and bobs like doilies and random stuff that's just a little bit bigger that I can organize across the way. And then I have this table. Um, this is the desk that I had, or desk, I, it's not really a desk, it's a table that like folds up and closes and it can change heights and stuff like that. Um, I'm just kind of keeping that there for some extra space. I have um, my little poster board for like photographs and filming and stuff like that um, and then just some cute little succulents in the window um, so that's kind of up there and then I'll take you down here into the calyx we've got um, ooh, let me sit down a little bit more so here we've got my um, used Bibles the Bibles that I'm not working in anymore and same down here um, or projects I guess that's not a Bible that's a my advent project for last year um, but that's just kind of all of those that are no longer um, being used but I still kind of want to display them and then over here is the illustrating bible I'm currently working in a photo album I'm working in this is my um, compact bible entries that I've taken out of my compact bible and I'm storing in that box and then I have my micro and compact bible here um, my regular size journaling Bible and then a Bible study down there. Over here, let's scooch over. I've got our jumbo scrappy bows, um, the ones that I like to pull out and use every once in a while. And then our scrappy tabs there just for easy access. And then in this box, I just have a bunch of scraps of fabric that sometimes I will dig into and make my own um, bow or scrappy tab or something randomly if some if nothing I have matches already. Uh, down here is my printable situation which I'm not loving but I don't know someone give me some better advice honestly because like this just it hasn't really worked. I thought it was going to work for me when I got this a while back and it just hasn't. It's just like a file box um, with lots of file folders and all my printables are in there. Ones that I've like partially used or like extras that I printed out and didn't end up using yet but then I have them if I need them and then I have a few here sitting on top that I like have been using really recently that I don't want to like 
be putting away yet. I don't know. Um, but it's just not like super functional. I need something better than that. Um, some more stickers that didn't fit up there or just like don't get used as often. Um, down here, some more pre-cut um, printables and stuff like that that I don't quite use as often. And then I have um, like scraps of scrapbook paper that I just kind of like all stick in that box and sort through and my paper cutter. Um, and down there I think is more like stickers and stuff like that that just don't really get used um, regularly, but I will pull them out from time to time. And then here, this is my favorite shelf. I don't know um, why, but I just put it really close to where I sit, as you can see. Um, these are all of my 6x8 and 6x6 paper pads. I use these a lot for my compact Bible journaling. I will just cut them in half um, or cut off part of the little 6x6 ones and um, then I have like the perfect size card and then over here are all of my like sticker books um, I've got some like alpha sticker books and some of the like Maggie Holmes uh, journal studio one canoe two those kind of things um, and I use those a lot so I want those to be within reach as well um, yeah so that's kind of just how I've set up like the key items that I use the most are all kind of right there where I'm creating. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and keep going, show you around my coffee on my phone. Over here I just have a little plant, fake plant. I cannot keep real plants alive, but you know, it's fine. Um, down here I have a little trunk full of ribbon, and then this basket is empty for now. I'm sure I will find a purpose for it. Um, we'll see. And then I have this table. If you watched my other video, I told you this like six times because I was so excited about it. But this table will flip up, and that's um, some extra work surface if I need it, which is awesome. Um, but for now, I just have just kind of some decorative things. Um, found that really pretty across that Hobby Lobby on like super clearance, so love that. Um, so yeah, I just kind of keep those. This is my 40 days of prayer um, for my loved ones that I've been working on. So just set that there. And then my memory decks with my Lent study. Um, eventually I would like to add more to this. I just haven't found the right um, study to do with it because you kind of it's a little bit smaller so if you have like cards that you're using you have to um, have some smaller ones to really fit well on there so we'll get there eventually um, then over here I've got my comfy chair I really like this chair my sister gave it to me like a long time ago it's not really like necessarily pretty but it's super comfortable I like to read there sometimes um, when I was working from home, I would always sit in that chair to do my work. Um, and then I'll do this first and then we'll go into the closet. Um, over here we just have, I found this artwork in my closet and I was like, ooh, that matches this better than what I had there before. So pulled that in. Um, we've got some drawers and then this is just two old nightstands that we um, got new ones and I just pulled them in here for some extra shelving. So, um, here is like the junk drawer of the room. It's literally just like a bunch of random stuff that I didn't know what to do with, so it's not even very organized. Um, just like extras of things, extra sticky dots, extra tape runners, extra paper clips, um, rings, all sorts of random stuff. Stapler, that's fun stuff. Then in this drawer, I have all my 12 by 12 stickers or um, like, what do you call it? What are these? Chipboard stickers and um, some 12 by 12 papers that I've had. And then um, same in this drawer, it's just 12 by 12 papers or like paper pads that I use more frequently. Um, and then down here, we've got just kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. We've got like Bible studies, journals, old hymnals that I use for Bible journaling sometimes, old planners, coloring books, more planner stuff, some random like hodgepodge things, um, 
colored pens, my Posca, Uni Posca pens, watercolor pencils, stuff like that. Then down here are just a few boxes of stuff that I don't access quite as often, but I still want kind of handy. So there's some ephemera scraps and printable scraps that I haven't used lately, but I still want to have those on hand. Paper clips and embellishments down here. Um, and then I didn't label these ones yet, but these is like extra pens and markers. And then down here, um, actually I think that box is empty, so I'll probably find something there eventually to put in there. Um, whew, I'm like getting out of breath. It's a lot to tell you all these things. Okay, let's go to the closet now. Whew, okay, so over here, um, like I told you guys in my like transformation video, what I ended up doing is this is an old TV stand that we moved out of our living room. And then this six by six shelf, square shelf is, um, was also in our living room. And we just like, we're rearranging and reorganizing that room and didn't need these in there anymore. So I decided I'm gonna put them to use in the closet. Um, before it had just been like boxes, tons of like really big like moving boxes and it was not accessible and it wasn't easy to like find anything in there or store anything. So this works a lot better. Um, I've got my fabric cutting mat and my fabric cutter back there and some poster boards for photographs and stuff like that. And then down here, we've got just kind of some random stuff that I don't access as much, that's why I put it back there. Um, some canvases, some old photo albums, um, some empty binders and office supplies, notebooks, stuff like that, um, that aren't being used right now, but I may need them in the future. Um, so those are all back there. Then over here we have like art type paper, like watercolor paper, uh, sketchbooks, some flat canvases, stuff like that, um, photo paper, cardstock, um, lined paper, graph paper, all that kind of stuff, and then printer paper for my printables, um, and like regular printer paper, uh, and then just some like leftover boxes and like file folders that aren't being used right now, but need to hang on those for, for a later date. Back over here, we've got a couple tripod things, um, phone things for filming, and then um, just these drawers are kind of full of supplies that I just don't really access or need very often, so I kind of just put them back there. There's like, let's see, I think this has like some date stamps and some watercolors that's like tissue paper and um, like scraps of wrapping paper and stuff and then down here is literally like all sorts of random stuff um and then we've got wrapping paper gift bags stuff like that back in the back corner um in this three bin drawer thing we've got um like markers and colored pencils just all of like the different colorful things um in this drawer i think there's some crayons in there and then this drawer down below has more of like the water-based products, so watercolors. Um, these are like my Heidi Swap sparkly sprays. I don't remember what those are called. Shimmers, shimmer something. Gelatos, um, gouache paint, watercolor paint. Um, my Prisma watercolors, or Prima watercolors, sorry, not Prisma. And then I found like 30 pairs of, okay, that's exaggerated, but I found a lot of pairs of scissors while I was cleaning through, and so I just put a bunch of them in here because you never know when you're gonna like lose a pair or need another pair, um, but I didn't need those all on my desk. Then down in here, we kind of have a mix of some things. I've got some more scrapbook paper down at the bottom and some more like ephemera that I just don't really use as much. These are kind of more, um, vintage style and I haven't really been doing that lately but I didn't want to get rid of them yet just because I may may get back into that um and then we've got this is like my little corner for all my bible fabric covering bible supplies so I've got like my hot glue gun mod podge um ribbons paint stuff like that for when I'm covering bibles 
And then here on this shelf we have Bibles that I are waiting to be covered. Um, so we've got some compact Bibles and some micro Bibles. Um, micro Bibles, again, are probably going to be launching with that bow launch that I just showed you. So I'm not sure if this video is coming out before or after that. And then I've got some larger Bibles that we still are kind of like debating what we want to do with. Um, I put my printer up here so it's like out of the way. Um, and I just used like an extension cord and plugged it in behind these shelves. Um, and then I've got like some ribbon, um, my sewing kit and my sewing machine. That's a bunch more washi tape that would not fit on the embroidery hoops. That's an easel. Um, these both are acrylic paints and um, like supplies for acrylic painting. And then back in these last two are fabric and embroidery ribbon. So lots of that. Um, and then finally, just up here, we've got a couple empty boxes. Um, that bag is full of yarn, some just bags for when you need them. Stamps, um, that's just like a Bible journaling kit that I take with me on the go. Like if I'm teaching a workshop or something, it just kind of has some basic like acrylics, watercolors, ephemera, cards, stickers, all kinds of like just kind of the basic stuff you might need. And then those boxes back there are like memory boxes from my high school days. Um, it's got like pictures and old journals and fun stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's the full closet there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's the whole room. I hope you enjoyed and were inspired by this. Um, please know that this was a process to get it like this and it probably will not stay looking like this, that's for sure. Um, but even to get to the point where I had all of the organizational pieces and stuff like that, like that happened over time and it just, um, it wasn't like all of a sudden I had like this amazing um, space. It took, it took time and it took saving up money to get the pieces that I wanted and needed and so um, I'm really happy with how it turned out and I think it's going to be pretty functional for me, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. I know that there's certain things that I have, uh, habits that I have of not putting things back where they belong that may um, make it a little bit tough for me, but we're going to try. Oh, you know what? I didn't show you this. Look at me go. You're all like, what about that? This is um, just a bin. I have a basket inside of here and underneath the basket is a bunch of like all of my bow supplies, bow making supplies. So strips of fabric that I've already cut and paper clips and stuff like that so that I can make um, bows for the shop. That is where I keep all of that so that I can just like take it out and work on them and then put it all back in the bin and just keep it all in one place. So yeah, and then those are just like empty boxes again for if I need to kind of organize or store something. Um, I've got a few of those. So that's the full shebang. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give me your best craft room organization tips down below and make sure you're subscribed so you can see our next videos. Thanks guys. Bye.